I'm Andrew Harris, and welcome to Pit Projects. I'm a former physics student at Cal Berkeley turned media studies major. So you're not an engineer? I'm not exactly, no, I'm, I'm not quite an engineer. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to my son, the Death Hornet. So you may have heard of this bike before. It's called a Suron. It's a Chinese made electric dirt bike that first started shipping to the US in late 2018. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of the first batches ever sent to the US and I've been modifying it ever since. So on the front end, we have some pretty sexy looking 17 inch Supermoto tires. They give you some serious grip over the stock ones. I will say, cause they're a lot lighter too, your handling feels a lot better, makes it a lot more nimble and it makes wheelies really easy. I had to upgrade the brakes if I was gonna upgrade the power. So we're running a Magura 220 millimeter floating front rotor with the stocks are on gen two caliper. I was lucky enough to have a fan send me this uh, DNM downhill front fork, and I plan to actually do a dual rotor setup. I also have this snazzy looking Baja racing light on the front, picked it up off Amazon and wrapped it in carbon fiber because it looks freaking sick. You know we're always vibing to some tunes while we're riding around, so I got my multimedia controls on the handlebars. I have my light controller here as well. So one other weird thing that you won't see on any other surround in the US to my knowledge is a left hand regen throttle. I have this little thumb throttle that allows me to control my regenerative braking, um, so much so that it actually activates a programmed in ABS feature. Uh, I don't think anyone has that besides some Russian guys out there with the uh, nuclear controllers. And I know I said that funny, but it is pronounced nuclear. Uh, that's the way they spell it. I don't really get it. Whatever, Russia's weird. So another thing you won't see on any other Saron in the US, minus maybe a couple enthusiasts out there, is a custom fabricated rear seat. I built this thing about a year and a half ago with a friend of mine in Oakland, and we welded a bunch of steel together to build this. I documented it on the Instagram, so check that out. Um, this is specifically built so that I could ride with two people on it because I remember freshman year of college, people asking me for a lift all the time and me not really being able to do it. If you have a Suron, you know it's very difficult to fit two people, especially with the seat. You're pretty much sitting with your balls on the battery and that's pretty uncomfortable. Under the custom made seat, we have the Cycle Satiator 72 volt portable and waterproof electric vehicle charger. This allows me to charge my vehicle anywhere I go by just bringing a small cable with me. On top of this, I can actually charge other Surons with the added XLR cable. On the side of the bike, you'll see we have a custom shift locker that I mounted there, and uh, that doesn't really serve any point except for wheelies, but we'll just gloss over that. We got some nice shiny gold pegs on the bike too, just to make it pop. And we got some gold bar end sliders, so when I inevitably drop the bike trying to do some dumb stunt, I don't break it. As for the powertrain, we have a BAC 4000 from ASI, custom shrouded in a CNC to aluminum heatsink. We have a custom made 72 volt, 30 amp hour battery from Lightspeed Bikes paired with the stock Suron motor. The powertrain has been slightly modified in terms of the gear ratio. So we're running a 54 tooth sprocket on the rear with a gold X-ring chain. Something noteworthy is that I've actually never replaced or even tuned my stock belt drive. It's been running flawlessly from day one and I've never had any problems. For the rear brakes, they've been highly upgraded. We're running a Magura MT5 paired with a SRAM guide operated by the right side foot brake. Both of these brakes are mounted off of a custom CNC aluminum dual caliper mount. If you've been following Sir on Pit Stop for a while, you'll know that I like to tinker with my electronics and this bike is no different. We've added a custom 12 volt system. So I have constant power to an alarm system, which means that if anyone touches the bike, it's gonna make a loud noise. The onboard alarm system has a nice little key fob right here that I'm able to lock my bike remotely. So I can press a simple button and the bike will lock itself even from here apparently inside my apartment. On top of this, I have an integrated GPS tracker, which means no one can ever steal my bike because the GPS tracker is always being charged off of the battery, even when the vehicle's off. Lastly, we have the obligatory Suron Pit Stop light kit on the bottom of it, which makes any vehicle look far better at night and keeps you safer. Check out SuronPitStop.com for more details. All of these mods complement each other really nicely and turn this into a really fun street vehicle. Let's talk power specs. I have three modes on my bike. One is pushing stock power, which is six kilowatts. Mode two is running 14.4 kilowatts and has traction control and ABS braking. And mode three is a 24.6 kilowatt tune. Now I wanna say before anyone gets too eager about this, a 24.6 kilowatt tune is way too much power for a Saran. You have no reason to run this much power. 
If you decide to run a 24.6 kilowatt unregulated tune, you have to be prepared for a few things. First of all, your motor's gonna overheat. Second of all, your motor controller may overheat if you have a BAC 4000. And third of all, you're gonna degrade your battery very quickly if you have an older lithium ion battery. If any of your structural components fail or your brakes fail, you're gonna get seriously injured. So ride at your own risk and always wear adequate gear. All in all, the bike's had a pretty serious glow up. It's turned from this tiny little Chinese made electric dirt bike to this absolute street weapon uh, that pretty much only attracts dudes. If you like this kind of video and wanna learn more about making your own performance inspired technologies, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to Pit Projects on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok and stay tuned for more content. I can't say that, that's Saronster's outro. Um, uh, this is my outro. Thank you.